Hello boys and girls, mums and dads, families and friends. My name is Captain Calamity and I have brought a wonderful story about one of my adventures called Captain Calamity and the Giant. So make yourself comfortable, sit down and enjoy the adventure. It was a sunny day in Chocolate Button Bay and Captain Calamity was okay. His licorice boat was bobbing along and the captain was singing a silly song. The captain's dragon sat up top and puffed a red hot flame, toasting marshmallows on a fork and Scorcher was his name. The captain's parrot munched on twigs and squawked in sheer delight. None could see the danger that was lurking out of sight. Far along Chock Button Bay, upon a mountain side, a giant tripped and hurt his knee and cried and cried and cried. The water from the giant's tears gushed down along the way, falling from the mountain side and heading for the bay. Could our hapless Captain C prevent a wet disaster? Or would our chocolate button bay be drowned forever after? The lighthouse flashed a warning light as tears gushed to the bay. Scorcher shot a mighty flame. Could the Captain save the day? As Sherbert Crabs watched on a gog and Jelly Babies too, the great Captain Calamity knew just what he must do. With a mighty sticking plaster, he flew up to the mountain to stop the teardrops falling from this giant water fountain. So there he stood, above the bay, the giant with his knee, sobbing till his massive tears filled up the mighty sea. The captain took a huge band-aid and with some parrot spit <laughs> he placed the plaster on the knee and the giant stopped his fit. Scorcher blew another flame that dried the sodden bay so the captain went back to his boat on this pleasant summer day. The sun was shining through the land on Chocolate Button Bay, upon a bobbing licorice boat, the captain was okay. And now I'm going to read you one more little story, and this one is called The Blur Monster. Can you all do that? Blur! On three, one, two, three, blur! It's a great sound, and it's made by puckering your lips up like this, blah, 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 making your mouth and jaw really loose and just going blur! <laughs> you can have fun with that later. So this is the story. It's called The Blur Monster. I hope you enjoy it. On a ball of fluff floating round in space lives a hairy thing with a furry face. With two stubby legs and three whirly eyes and a giant mouth, though he's slight in size. With antenna shooting from his head and arms at number four, the Blur Monster sits on a rock and gently starts to snore. As he snores, old blurry dreams of a planet they call Earth and strange two-legged creatures that walk across its girth. They all have the eyes that number two and skin that isn't hairy, two legs, two arms, two eyes, one nose, and a face that isn't furry. How strange a sight the Blur Monster reflects whilst floating around upon a giant ball of fluff in space without a sound. Well, I hope you enjoyed those two little stories from the Captain Calamity Adventures. 
been great speaking to you all. Now remember, most of all, before I go, stay safe, stay indoors, and stay smiley. See ya!